Welcome to the Mind Solution Podcast with Sarah Maud. The Mind Solution Podcast is for leaders like you who are passionate about well-being in the workplace because you understand that a strong, resilient and happy workforce is the key to your organisation's success. The Mind Solution Podcast is here to help you So join us every week where we'll share with you powerful insights, strategies and know-how to ensure that your people and your organisation are truly thriving from the inside out. Hi there and welcome to today's podcast where the topic for today is one of confidence. Now, confidence is something that I hear business leaders, managers, even chief execs asking for more than anything else. It's like top of their number one list on their Christmas wish list. Sarah, I really want to experience more confidence. And you know, when we're doing our leadership development coaching and I have leaders chief execs, managing directors, non-executive directors, you name it, they're all telling me I want more confidence. I want more confidence when I'm addressing people at the annual conference. I want more confidence when I'm holding a team meeting. I want the confidence to know which direction to take the organisation in. I want more confidence when it comes to pitching to the board. I want more confidence when it comes to presenting my findings. You know, leaders on our management mental health training, for example, they say, I want more confidence when I'm tackling mental health in the workplace. When I'm sitting down with somebody and I'm having a conversation with them about their mental health, I want more confidence. But if we were to take a step back and just consider for a moment, what is confidence? What is confidence and how do you even know when you have confidence? Because when it comes to confidence, I see confidence as two types of confidence. There's the confidence that comes from competence. So a little bit like, you know, when you were first learning to drive a car and you were very mirror, signal, maneuver. If you were anything like me, you would drive the car around the roundabout actually in the wrong direction. Yes, I did get a D in my in my driving test for dangerous driving. But after a period of time being out on the road, learning where the the navigation tools are as far as which are the window wipers, which is the indicator, where's the gear stick, when you get all of that into your sort of inner mental keyboard, into your muscle memory, so that you're not thinking as much about what you're doing, You're acting from a much more automated place. So you're less conscious, you're less caught up in your thinking that you naturally start to feel more confident. But if you were to put somebody behind the wheel of a car the very first time and say, right, I want you to drive from Edinburgh to Cornwall or I want you to drive from New York to Mississippi, chances are they would freak out. You know, they would think, I can't do that. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue how to drive the car. I don't know how it operates. I don't know which lane of traffic I need to be in. I don't know how to follow directions. It would be literally, their brain would just be spontaneously combusting. So for somebody in that situation, where they go, I just need more confidence. Well, unless you've given something a go a couple of times, then confidence is like trying to find a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know, it's that phantom. 
But when you have got behind the wheel and you have been out on the road a few times, you start to relax. Confidence just naturally starts to appear. And we teach this in our management mental health training because managers often say to us, you know, I feel so much fear when it comes to having a conversation about mental health. I have this fear of getting things wrong. I have a fear of making things worse. I have a fear that something I say might tip the person over the edge. So there's all of this fear. So again, when they say we want to feel more confident in having conversations about mental health, it's like, well, the kind of confidence that you're looking for comes from competence. And that competence can only be derived from showing up. It's a bit like that quote from Woody Allen. 80% of success is showing up. So the more that you show up, the more that you put yourself out of your comfort zone and you keep showing up, you keep trying, you get better, you get better. Just like driving, you reach a point where you can just, just jump into the car, hop into the car, and you can drive anywhere because you know that you've got both the confidence and competence to get you to wherever it is that you need to be. But then there's also the confidence that little kids have. You know, little two and three year olds, when it comes to trying something out, maybe for the first time, and they just have that fearless confidence. And it might be that when they're trying to ride a bike for the first time, they're just having so much fun that they're not in their head questioning, how far can I go? They're not questioning, am I gonna fall off? They just show up. And again, after a period of time, they develop the skills and eventually the stabilizers come off and off they go. And it's the same with our leaders. You know, if you're a chief exec, a president, a managing director, and this is your first role in that position, is it natural and is it normal that you might be a little bit freaked out by some of the activities and tasks that come with running an organization. Yeah, <laughs> that's what makes you human and not a robot. Is it natural that the first time that you address a whole organization, your organization and all the people in it at an annual conference, you might feel a sense of adrenaline, you might feel a little bit anxious is that normal? Is that natural? Yeah. But can you still show up and get it done? Yes. And the next time that you show up, is it going to feel easier? Yeah. So sometimes we, we think that we have to sort out our thinking. You know, I've got to think positive. Oh my goodness, positive thinking. No, you do not need to reorganize your thinking in order to show up. Because the more that you just show up, the more that those natural feelings of confidence are behind you. And you just get to that place where it just becomes easier and easier, exactly the same way as driving a car. So if you're listening to this and you're a manager and you need to have a conversation with one of your team about mental health, 
and you think, I need to feel more confident before I can have that conversation. No, that's a myth. Just showing up and you're halfway there already. And yeah, the first time that you have that conversation, it might not be the perfect conversation, but you know what? The fact that you showed up and you had that conversation puts you head and shoulders above all of the other managers and leaders out there that haven't yet had that conversation with a team member. And you can choose to feel proud about the fact that you did show up. And if you're a business leader, a chief exec, a president, CFO, and you're listening to this and you're thinking, you know, I need to get more confidence in addressing my people and addressing my senior leadership team. Again, just showing up and you're already halfway there. So once you've shown up, That's 80% of your success. And you might be thinking, well, where do the other 20% of success comes from? Well, the 20% is already there. It already exists within you. Because that 20% is simply about your thinking. I'm recognizing that the source of all mental clutter is in your thinking. And that's something that we will teach you as leaders, as managers in your organization, is how to step away from that mental clutter and access that true self that's already there within you. That true self, which is when you're acting from that place of wisdom, when you're acting from that place of clarity, of gut instinct, of intuition. Because when you're acting from that place, trust me, confidence doesn't even come into it. So if that's resonated with you and you're curious to find out more, then do get in touch with us, info at themindsolution.com. But for now, have a wonderful day.